A Dallas police officer committed suicide this week just one day after he was involved in a police shooting. Officer Matthew Bacon was involved in Monday's shooting death of a man wanted for murder in Dallas. He had been with the department for 18 years. Today, Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia is calling for more mental health awareness and access for officers. The chief spoke with Fox Force David Centendry today. David. And Steve, the chief says that he and others within the department spoke with Officer Bacon just after that deadly officer-involved shooting. And the chief says there were no signs at that point in time that a suicide was just hours away. So, motion's raw. Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia is talking about the suicide of Officer Matthew Bacon, an 18-year veteran of the department. Bacon took his own life Tuesday, one day after he and three other members of the U.S. Marshals Service North Texas Fugitive Task Force shot and killed an armed man wanted for murder, 36-year-old Corey Thomas. We have units that are going after the worst of the worst that society has to offer day in and day out. The department says the task force located Thomas inside a pickup truck at an Oak Cliff apartment complex. Thomas allegedly pointed a gun at the officers and all four fired at him. Thomas died. No officers were injured. <laughs> The only video police released related to the investigation is from a surveillance camera that does not show the confrontation. But in the audio, officers are heard telling Thomas to get his hands up or show his hands. Police provided a photo of the handgun they say Thomas pointed at them and ammunition. The investigation is ongoing. Chief Garcia says he and other members of the department spoke with Bacon after the shooting. And they never saw the signs. Garcia says mental health is a conversation sometimes frowned upon in policing. If I would have turned to my partner in 92 and told him, hey, that call kind of screwed me up a little bit, my partner would have looked at me and said, dude, we need to suck it up. We got 10 more hours. If I would have said those exact words to a sergeant or a lieutenant in 1992, and this is not just me and my department in 92, this is I would argue any police officer in 1992, that lieutenant would have looked at them in the eye and said, maybe this job isn't for you. That has to change. Last year, the department created a wellness unit. It's made up of seven officers who proactively work to boost and maintain the mental health of ones in the department. When people ask you, hey, how you doing today? Everyone's normal answer is, I'm doing good, doing good. Even when you're not doing good, and you're not doing good, you say, I'm doing good. We need to get to the point where, you know, how you doing after that? I'm not doing too well. All right, well, let's talk. And make it okay to say, I'm not doing too well after that. It's that simple. Yeah. It's that simple, but also that difficult because I understand the culture. We do not know what was going through the mind of Officer Bacon. Chief Garcia says this was not Bacon's first officer-involved shooting, and the department will elaborate with details next week. But he had been involved in another shooting. The department says Bacon leaves behind a wife. At the end of the day, man, I want my officers here at DPD, but you know what I want? I want them to retire, and I want them to be with their loved ones when they leave. None of those task force officers involved in that officer-involved shooting were wearing body cameras, according to Dallas Police Department. They say that's because of a federal memorandum. Again, that officer-involved shooting is still under investigation. Steve, Heather, I'll send it back to y'all. Okay, David Centendry, outside police headquarters, thanks.